Yo, what's good, y'all? Your boy Corey. We back again with another Mario Luigi Superstar Saga type video. You know what I'm saying? I'm back. Um, yo, why do I always forget what we do last time? Oh, yeah, we actually went through Chicolo. Um, the the, the Chicolo. Ch what what is it called again? What what is it called? Chuckle Hug Woods. I think. You Crap, I thought I would have said the name on the map. All right, I think it's Chucklehug Woods. <laughs> we went through Chucklehug Woods, actually ventured through. We came across some type of tree. He was telling us we need three types of Chocola fruits, red, white, and purple. We acquired all the fruits, and we encountered a boss battle in the woods, the Wiggler. Beat him, and, well, now we got all the fruits. And so we're going to go ahead and deliver the fruits to the uh, tree. And that way we can fit on in through more into the woods. So that way we can go ahead and get the Chocola Reserve to save Queen Bean. You find on all three types of the Chocola fruits, I am amazed. Very well, you may pass, go. I will sleep now, good night. And he just he just cries because I'm, I'm guessing he's just... I don't know. I don't know what he's crying about. I don't know if he... Oh, shoot. Oh, yes, the path is open. We were stuck, couldn't even get past it, you see. So we was hiding, waiting for y'all to do the brilliant stuff. All right, Ricky, let's go. We ain't gonna waste no more time. You see, we finna be golden right now. And they were just waiting on us to open the path so that way they can clear it through. You know, you know, Ricky learned how to breathe fire. So I, I, this is something I just figured out, y'all. Ricky just figured out he could breathe fire. Why didn't he just burn the tree? Like, 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 seriously, like, am I the only one who's ever thought that? Like, like, let's be real. Like, you know, you can breathe fire. Why didn't you just burn the tree? <laughs> that tree that tree may be magical in a way to where, you know, um, oh, I didn't mean to save my game because you never know. If something happens, then... Eesh. But I'm just thinking, like, you know, like, am I the only one who's ever thought of that? Like, seriously. I, I, like, I, I'm very serious. What do sodas call their dads? Pops. Mmm, that's a bar. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola Cola. Mmm, that's a bar. Hold on, hold on. He kind of spitting. This dude kind of spitting. My name is Bubbles. And I am the ultimate comedian. With the laughing and the chortling and the har, har, har. <laughs> Wait, is he a bean in the pear costume? I just noticed that zipper. Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary soda, the Chocola Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you that the Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. I have worked on the Chocola Reserve for a thousand years, telling it joke after joke so it would mature and then mature some more and then yet more, until at last the greatest soda of all would be completed with the fizz and the tastiness. Because the soda is so much of a high caliber and repute, its rude gesture is... Uh, I, I, I skip. I skip. That's no ordinary soda. We can't even stand up to such a beverage. How did you find a barrel enough for him? I, I'm curious, actually. The Chocola Reserve is a thing to savor. With the flavor and the tang, yum in the belly. Yeah, the Chocola Reserve is... Oh, wonderful. So wonderful. The great soda shines. However, that was not only the hidden power of the soda that jokes that have bred over 3,000 years. So now I insist you fully experience the texture and the taste and the aroma of the Chocola Reserve. Bon Appetit. So yeah, the Chocola Reserve is actually a boss battle. And so, you you know, we want to make sure we get ready. Now, I believe... Okay, I, I didn't remember if you could attack the shield or not, but... um. I don't remember all the attacks from the Chocola Reserve, and I'm not going to worry too much about it, because what we're going to do is just beat this guy, you know what I'm saying? With this... Fire th fire boss theme. Now, I never actually got the chance to show off the uh, Super Chopper bro, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. I'm going to show it off for you guys. And it's actually really good. So, you knock Luigi to the ground, and then you, uh, you play Whack-A-Mole. Get a first try. There we go. First try. Nice little 57 damage. 
And then you already know, we're gonna do super knockback bros this time because there's only one enemy. Because last time we did this with Wiggler, it was, it was, it was terrible. So, uh, so I believe, yeah, you can break the shield. Uh, there we go. So yeah, that did 48 damage. Oh yeah. Want to be careful because he shoots projectiles. You can't jump on the projectiles either, otherwise he will hit you. Now, oh yeah, so if he puts the shield behind him, then I think that's when like you could really go for like up close attacks, like how we did the knockback bros. Like we can actually hit him with it. But uh, we gonna go ahead. We gonna do a we gonna do a regular chopper bros. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, he just puts the shield. Okay. Ah, there we go. We got some nice damage, nice damage, and we broke the shield. So now we could go ahead and do some super knockback bros on this guy. He can't block none of these attacks, so. Uh, you know, 12, uh, 21, uh, 30, 37, 52. No, 51. Come on, quick maths. Quick maths. Quick maths. But yeah, that's just basically all of his attacks, and I believe he can um, regrow a new shield, so uh, be very mindful of that. But, you know, why not? Let's go ahead and hit him with a Super Splash Bros, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, 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 and then hit him with a, uh. That didn't do as much damage with the Chopper Bros and stuff, so maybe I should just stick to using the Chopper Bros and stuff. <laughs> but, I'm gonna do another Super Knockback Bros. Go ahead, boom, bow. Boom, bow. Boom, bow. Boom, bow. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Now he's knocked down. I think he's in a very... Do bats like baseball? Oh, yeah. When this guy tells him a joke, he heals. So, be very mindful of that. Oh, my. That, that was fast. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. All right. Let's go ahead. Get him with a super chopper, bros, real quick. Get all this damage output that we can. Nice 52. And he's knocked back down. Go ahead, hit him with a nice knockback, bros. Uh. Boom. Bow. Boom. Bow. Boom. Bow. Oh, yeah, look at the damage we're doing to him now. Yeah, when he's in this thing, he's much weaker. Oh, yeah, look at that damage. Look at that damage. I wasn't doing the math right there. What's that, like 83? Yeah, 83. Knock him back. Uh, we don't have no more um, bros points for Mario, so we're just going to go ahead and jump on this guy. You know what I'm saying? He should be close to death. I assume he's close to death. What do she count to sleep? So there we go. Knock him back. He should be very close to death. So I don't think we got to worry about refilling our uh, bros points, actually. Uh, we can just go ahead and finish him off. Uh, does Mario... The Luigi's jump power have more than Mario? I just realized that. But there we go. We defeated the Chocola Reserve. And uh, yeah, you know, easy peasy. This boss isn't hard. Not a hard boss at all. But look at the amount of XP we get. 260. 260. That's the most amount of XP we got so far. Come on now. And we're level 13, so you already know what we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. That pow, because all we love is that power. Like, like, come on now. Do we not love that power? Do we not love that power? Come on, we love that power. Go ahead, give us that power. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, make sure for those who are watching, you drink water. Water is really good, like, <laughs> really good. <laughs> but the jokes, the puns, the humor I saved up for over the last thousand years. And, um, he throws a tantrum and, uh, well, yeah, just sends us, um, sends us underground. And because of that, Mario fell into the Chocola Reserve. Meanwhile, Luigi, well, we gotta hurry back to Mario, so, yeah. So, get used to this. <laughs> so, there are gonna be instances to where 
Luigi will be by himself or Mario will be by himself to where it's like, okay, you're gonna have to, you can either choose to fight with the brothers by themselves, which, you know, I'll do it for an example. I'll do it for an example. You can use the brothers to fight by themselves and yeah, or, you know, but I mean, that guy was very weak. So, you know, it's not worth fighting him with Luigi, but there's going to be more of these guys. So of course, I'm going to just do my best to ignore them because, because that can happen because that can happen. And he's going to attack us. And this is going to hurt. And that hurts. All right. Now, I'm not going to fight you because I don't feel like it. Now, I believe the fling feature in the GBA version, you have to spam A or B. Uh, but in the process of doing that, you lose coins. So... <sighs> I don't want to kill you. I'm going to just block. Yeah, that's actually, uh, now I think about it, that's actually another new feature they added into the, uh, pretty much in the 3DS, uh, Mario and Luigi games, an emergency block, like, if you don't think you can, if you don't think you can dodge it, go ahead and block it. You'll take less damage than fully taking it head on, but you're still gonna take damage, so. But, uh, I believe there are, like, I'm not sure for the 3DS version of this game, but I know for the other 3DS games of this, uh, Dream Team and Paper Gym, I believe there are, like, badges and stuff to where, you know, there's a, uh, you know, a feature that helps with the emergency block that makes it better. But, um, yeah. But, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna just ride the barrel down this, um, this river stream and, uh, yeah. And we made it to our destination. Well, look at that. A very Mar 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 Maurice. You know what? All right. <laughs> it's all right. I, I, all right. What? What is it? Mario's gut is filled with the brim of the Tacola Reserve and is sloshing around his insides. That's terrible. It's sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima anyways. By the way, what's the Chocola Reserve? Yeah, see, th these guards, they, they don't be... they don't. It's, it's like most guards in any other video game. They, they don't know what they're doing or what's going on. <laughs> like, yo. Somebody fill them in, please. With right information. Queen Bean is in deep sleep, just as you can see her now. Did you truly obtain the legendary Chocola Reserve? Yep. So, like usual, we're gonna spit it out for Mario and... Um, let it go into Queen Bean's mouth. Very disgusting, but I mean, yeah. There's a belly bletch worm, and uh, yeah, that's that. That's basically the parasite that was inside of Queen Bean, which was making her, um, you know, not acting right. A truly repugnant yet tre truly tremendous success. Queen Bean has returned. Ah, the largest I've ever laughed in a long, long time. Well done. Yeah, see, this is what Queen Bean actually looks like. She ain't, she ain't, I mean, she's buff, but I mean, not like how we saw her just now. <laughs> no, your highness, it's not, but rather the Mario Bones, so you must really think. Hmm, so Kakaletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice, the Bean Star. It was my fault, my fault. Nonsense. Why would Kakaletta even steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach voice in the first place, though? And, um, well, we're gonna do a little story time. The Bean Bean Star is protector of this land and has the power to grant any all desires. To prevent such a power from being used for evil, the Bean Star has been cast a deep asleep. All right, you know I'm not gonna read like that because it just it just doesn't sit right with me. So I'm gonna read this like a I'm gonna read this like you know what's up like <clears throat> it said that the voice of the great beauty is required to wake the Bean Star from its slumber. You know, it must be the voice of a pure and a noble soul. And it turns out. In this day of age, Princess Peach is the only one who even possessed such a voice. But the reason Kakalette stole Princess Peach's voice was so that she could plan to awaken the Bean Star and fulfill all of her desires. Yo, stop playing with my reader skills, bro. You know I be doing this, yo. <clears throat> and there's no mistaking her true desire to rule the world. Fear not, though. I first saw that this desire of hers, like, a while ago, so we've been prepared. Car for car, we better have a ha we have a better hand than her. Oh, see, you better have a better deck because when you have a better deck, it's easy. It's easy. You can't stop me. <laughs> like what? That's what she's saying. Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing. Yo, Master Mario and Master Luigi, I'm about to go head out. Um, 
Y'all go meet Prince Peasley. She said she was telling them to head out. She wasn't saying for her to head out. I kind of read that wrong. All right, all right. All right. Cheers to the red and greeny. Thank you guys so much for the help earlier. And yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. So yeah, Prince Peasley, apparently he was on a mission. Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Kakaletta? Thanks to you, absolutely. Southeast of the castle, Woohoo University, our local research institution. Jesus Christ, these names of these places. Kakaletta and her underlings have snuck in there into a woohoo hoon. Of course, Hooniversity is the perfect place to awaken the beam star. And at 10, I march I want to march right into Hooniversity right in this instant. May we meet again. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be the chance to recover Princess Peach voice. I shall inform the locals that you are allowed to have passage to the world of Woohoo University. So yeah. Basically, uh, that's our next objective. We're going to head over to uh, Woohoo University and go ahead and stop Kakaletta from using the Bean Star and Princess Peach voice for it. But before we head to the southeast, as you can see, the town has been rebuilt and is in way, way better shape than it was last time. And because of that, this shop is open and we can go ahead and buy some gear. Um, before we do, usually like what I like to do is like if I got any gear that I've acquired before, um, I usually equip it now, um, and then I, and then, um, and then I, oh my god, sorry, I'm just freaking, <laughs> I am, uh, stuttering, and then I go ahead and buy gear to see, like, okay, is this better, is this not better, so, you know, that way I'm saving money and stuff, it makes it a lot easier for me, I do that for, like, Literally every turn-based game, not even every turn-based game, just any type of game that does stuff like this. So yeah, but um, we're gonna go ahead um, and see if there's some better clothing. This uh, increases our defense. This increases our bros point in defense. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna get the uh, hard pants. Yeah, we're just gonna get the hard pants. We're gonna buy two of these actually. So go ahead and equip that. And uh, go ahead and uh, buy this for Luigi too. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go to the badges. Let's see for Luigi. Um, you know, I, li I like to go for that power. You know, this gives me more bros point and power. This takes away my bros points by seven. Increases my yeah. Mm, cre mm, nah, this one would honestly be better. Yeah, this one would be better for Luigi, honestly. Uh, cause I, with the amount of bro points that I have now, it makes no sense for like me to get rid of most of that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when bros attacks do more damage anyway. So, and then for Mario, Mario's pretty good. Most of these aren't really good for me. They just decrease my power by like a lot. So I'm not gonna worry about. I'm not gonna worry about those with a. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about buying any of those. Um. I guess I can show off, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, this is the item shop to where you wanna buy some, uh, you know, mushrooms, syrups and stuff like that, you know. Um, some mushrooms, some syrup. Uh, if you look at the uh, top of the bottom screen, you know, it'll show how much you have. Like we have 11 super mushrooms in our inventory, 14 one-ups, 29 syrups, uh, 12 nuts. Uh, you know, the list goes on. You know, why not buy some super mushrooms, why not? But see, now it goes up to 17. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and head out. We're not gonna really be buying items like that unless mm, I don't know. Maybe, but we'll just see. Um, that's just like a text bubble shop. You don't really gotta worry about that. Um, but before we do actually head over to Hoo Hoo University, I just remembered actually. Um, when you come up to here, if you go over to the left side over here and enter through here, there's a green pipe. And usually, when you see these green pipes, that means there is a shortcut. So yeah, I just remembered this. So. I'm glad I did. So there you go. There's your um, there's your other shortcut. I don't remember what was to the right. Don't think it was anything of importance. Uh, I think this is where you can change your ID pictures, but I mean it doesn't really matter like that. So you know I, I'm 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 I mean like I'm fine with what I have, but um, 
here's a new recording that we can play on the music player. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the music player is definitely a new, um, a new thing they added for the 3DS version. So, because I definitely don't remember that. I definitely don't remember it being in the GBA version. So here's another one. I don't know where all of them are, but if I ever run into them, then, you know, I, I just run into it. I don't know if it's the specific block I run into or not. But um, the objective is to head towards the southeast part of the Bean Bean Kingdom, where we're supposed to um, uh, head into Hoo 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 University. We got a P badge. Let's see if uh, let's see if this badge is much better than any of the other badges for either Mario or Luigi. It's not so. We're gonna keep it pushing. We're gonna keep it pushing. Um, I don't know if I gotta keep heading south. Or, yeah, okay, so we gotta keep heading south. So, uh, cause we're heading southeast, so I think I gotta go down one more time. Yeah, so we gotta go through here. Cause they said they were gonna alert the guards, so. Yeah, so now we're heading in the right direction. We're gonna go ahead and ignore that little bean guy because he doesn't really give us XP. But, you know, if we see a new enemy, we're gonna go ahead and fight them, shut them off. And this right here is, well, it's a Koopa. Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, it's a Troopia. That's, that's their call. But, you know, they're just pretty much Koopas. They ain't really like all that. Uh, I'm going to try not to kill them. Oh, uh, there we go. So, yeah, what they do, they, they basically just heal. Uh, they can either heal themselves or they can heal um, any of their uh, allies. And I believe they can grow new allies. I believe they can um, spawn new allies. I believe. I, I don't remember if they can or not. Um, but I, I feel like they could. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, so we don't really got to fight them. Um, we're just going to go ahead and skip past them because they don't really give us XP like that anyways. And we're going to go all the way down here and head up all the way over here. And, um, yeah, so we're literally in the outside of Hoo 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 University. And I think, you know, this is actually a good stopping point uh, right here. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this um, episode. If you guys do enjoy the content, I appreciate it very much. And the next part, we're going to enter Hoo Hoo University. Hopefully, um, stop Kakaletta from using the Bean Star by using Princess Peach's voice. If you guys are enjoying the content, I have more content that I'm going to be delivering for you guys that I think you guys will enjoy even more or even better for you guys. And personally, for me too. Because, <laughs> you know, I just, I, I like doing it. This is, this is very fun to do. Because I love doing this. I love just giving out content that people can enjoy and yeah that's, <laughs> and because i'd be bored most of the time so <laughs> uh thank you guys so much for watching y'all take care